悟らせてやろうお前の努力と自信いかに無意味なものかをな Dead Hunter x Hunter episode 74 Victor x and x loser I'm gonna crush your will and all that and then rock Oh You just let that happen? Oh, okay. Alright, then shield. Get through breaking his own will, somehow. That's hands. <laughs> you gotta convince him of his own victory. That's hands. Oh, he's actually leaving. Okay. Good question. There's the yo yo practice. I see. You can tell whether or not Gether's gonna do the technique by how much net energy puts into the, the hand grip. He has a tell. He knows his own weaknesses. This looks like a great place to get hit by a rock. Right, you could do a double fake. But like, he just talks way too much. He just talks way too much. There's no power boost from explaining your curse technique. This is just arrogance. Okay, we're all growing. <laughs> Even get there's like, you got too much to live for, Gon. Gon being selfish? <laughs> uh, okay, and Gon we trust, I guess. Like, listen to you talk. <laughs> Doesn't it leave Gether vulnerable if he's channeling all that energy into his hands? Goes one eye is really terrifying. Damage! Oh, and you're super vulnerable right now. Well, it's gonna be rock one way or the other. <laughs> Did he even hit him? What? He pulled an Ahsoka. Right, right, that's what I was, that's what I was saying. Go and do that. What I didn't expect was for going to sacrifice his own arm. Well, <laughs> he, you yourself said this kid's insane, so that's on you. The one is dangerous. <laughs> to everyone. Oh, his delusion continues. We just do not know. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Took him a minute. Getting through stages of realization, going from this kid is insane to this kid is insane. <laughs> like, really insane. He's in unbelievably insane. Did Gon learn that from Hisoka? He did that not really having Maki in the wings. Oh, but we have uh, Bisky's healing spell. If it can cure constipation, surely it can <laughs> heal his hand. Oh, he might also use the healing spell. That's reflect, right? Nice of him to care enough to give him a chance. It's a lie. It's a lie. Don't lean in. Wow, oldest trick in the book. Look over there. Making me angry. <laughs> No, I can't use the explosion thing. 
Learn something poetic about going forcing him to use cards or using cards to beat him. Dude is, I mean, it's, it's, it's a show. He has to explain, but like, he could do so much better if he just stopped telling Gon what he was doing. Can he combine this with like the push one? Oh, he's pulling a, a Uvogin. Now you're trapped. It's cards. This is more and more terrifying. There it is! The, I've been waiting so long. Oh wow, they tried from this narrow chasm. Good! <laughs> Finally. Oh, it's so satisfying. I've been waiting for this rock since it was introduced. Please let it be smushed. Probably not smushed. That was kind of abrupt. How did he... Well, like I said, he's going to get defeated by rock one way or the other. Oof. Gon just murdered someone. Gon has the bloodlust now. <laughs> it's kind of like a game to him. Oh, he lived. Not that Gon really would care. <laughs> so is it Gon beating him with the cards and sticking to the rules of the game? He definitely trapped him down there with the cards, and he didn't steal. That doesn't even begin to make amends. Par's dead. He got outcarded and also punched real hard in the stomach. Did we heal Gon yet? This is my favorite card. There you go. Right, that's easier as a catch-all. But I can never heal the flaming rage in his heart. <laughs> Can it can it restore the dead? Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm a little bit confused. Because Bisky dropped her power, but then like it was dropped in such a casual, joking manner. I didn't even fully register that like that's actually just her power. I thought maybe it was uh, just a sub part of her overall power. Am I crazy or she can heal, right? She's just deliberately not healing Kalua's hands this whole time. Speaking of it all being a game, it actually reminds me of Freeman a little bit, where like you could step in and do it for the kids, but you just don't. Let them figure it out. The maximal, maximal difficulty there is. I mean, I mean, I don't know. Like, it would be nice to have that power. No, I don't think so, and I'm not just saying that because I like Kalua. This is either really obvious or really controversial depending on who you're talking about and what side you're on. But you have to account for time in evaluating people's conduct and character. Ganther literally was killing people five minutes ago and has shown no evidence of any kind of remorse or desire to change from the actual goodness of his heart as opposed to like threat of death. Kalua clearly has. I think this issue becomes more clear when you look at your concept of yourself and what you want for yourself compared to what you think about others and what you expect from them and how you judge them. So just speaking for myself personally, I would hate to be judged and held to the standard now in this moment of my life based on the very worst things I've done in, in the scope of my life. Looking at myself, I know from experience that I'm a complex person and I'm capable of reflection and change and that the things I've done wrong in the past that I do regret inform who I am and inform my decisions in the future. In a very trivial way, this comes up for me quite often because I still get comments on like really old videos I made. Like for example, these days people are going back and watching my avatar reactions and I get comments in the present tense like, you're not paying attention and you're missing the whole thing. And it's like, that is 100% correct for the person you're talking to four years ago. <laughs> There's been a lot that happened since then, you know? Like, I watched the whole series and I rewatched it and did a whole re-reaction series. I'm with you, like, I agree. Me reading the comment now is not the same person you're watching in the video, even though it might seem that way. It's easy to make that mistake. Overall, I think we afford ourselves a lot more wiggle room and a lot more of that sort of hopeful optimism of character than we do for other people, which we often make the mistake of just treating them as static en entities, right? Like, they are just this label because of this thing at undetermined time, now and forever. They're 
just a single frame copied and pasted across the entire timeline of the video. Where this gets really uncomfortable is like looking at criminals. People have done really uh, egregious things maybe decades ago, maybe even on death row for crimes they committed a long time ago. Obviously, there's no real simple answer there. It's it's going to be complex one way or the other. There are many other factors to consider as well in those evaluations. But if you're going to do any kind of evaluation of it at all, you want to try at least to approach it with the highest possible nuance and apply the same standards you might apply to yourself to, to other people as well. I'm with Kalua in his interpretation that this may not be the end of the story for Genthru and that he's a human life and there's something there that should be valued or thought about carefully. I'm not with Kalua if he's saying Kalua now is the same as Genthru now. So I actually come to think of it, it's, it's probably, he's probably saying the former, not the latter. But yeah, that's, that actually, that's the simplest and most common explanation. I like him and I don't like you. I mean, there should be some justice, but... What is Genthru thinking right now? Or Bisky could just do it, I think. Oh, Genthru looks okay. No, don't, okay, all right, okay, hold on, wait a second. On this issue, I am gonna fall on like the, who are my friends and who aren't my friends. You have one Breath of Archangel card left, use it on Kahlua, man, after everything he's done for you. Are you okay, Kahlua? Are you okay with all of this? Not bad, not bad at all. What about us? Oh, sweet! Wow, this guy is really honorable, actually. He could have just bailed. Condition X, condition. Yeah, of course they're gonna beat it. I mean, that be, that's the most narratively satisfying thing. <laughs> they beat it kind of like by accident. <laughs> sort of. They, like, cared the least. Panda? What? My final pause for reading, maybe. Excellent, taking care of human children, and then there is a duck. <laughs> Decidedly not a human child. But then there are like duck carcasses on the wall? Oh, this is a confusing, confusing card. What is it for? I will not let that panda take care of my children. The game will self-destruct. The reward is a quiz? <laughs> Come on now. Is that so the guy who can remove Nen spells? Oh, that's interesting. Fell safe. <laughs> Genther couldn't have won anyway. But Genther knew the game, despite being a thief. This, yeah, this could also turn into a Royal Rumble, right? I mean, like, all the cards are collected in one place and everyone knows that. Again, there's a difficult challenge because this is one of those debates that will rage on forever just because there's no clear answer. Like any decision you make has pitfalls one way or the other. But if I had to guess, I think I fall more heavily on the spectrum of like rehabilitation, valuing human life, the somewhat limited effect of like post acting punishment measures as a deterrent or as a way of really creating any kind of actual balance or undoing damage, which, you know, often it just doesn't, it's just more damage. But like Genther's rampage was very recent. <laughs> I don't know if you just let him go. I don't even know if you heal him, given the fact that his injuries seem to be non-life-threatening. I think you let him suffer in that for a little bit. Like, at least don't let, don't release him in full power just yet. There's a the hope that, you know, being kind to him will melt his icy heart, but you have literally zero signs that he won't just do it again or do something worse elsewhere. And to use the card on him over Kahlua, man, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm not understanding it, but that's stung. Alright. Good choice, Gon. Oh, maybe this is my favorite card. Ooh, tough choice. I like that they brought her back twice. They had her twice in the, the card explanations. Which is better, Golden Dust Girl or Breath of Archangel Girl? Toughest dilemma of the show so far. Gon continues to be a very interesting character. One thing I do like about his obsessive moments is that it's not always like supreme victory and crushing his opponents, but like a benchmark he sets for himself. Or like, I'm gonna complete this technique and that'll be satisfactory. Then I can go back to the plan. Or I'm gonna land a blow on Ahsoka. I can't quite put my finger on it, but there's something very cool and lifelike and relatable about that for me. Where you just wanna know you can get 
as far as you feel like you should be able to go right now. And you want to push the envelope one step. You want to have the narrative for yourself. The narrative perhaps being the most important thing. You know, it's like what you take away from it. I used to be really big on, I want to do this thing once. Like I want to try this job for one day and complete X tasks. So I can say I've done this, you know, I want to open one stock account on a cold call. I want to be a bartender and make these drinks, you know, that way I have like this story that's kind of complete in its mini arc and I have it in me forever. It becomes a, a chapter in the book of that moment, which goes into the larger collection of myself and who I am and my stories. Go and have something in there like that, that is really fun to watch. In fact, there's a fun activity or series of activities you can do in the absence of a larger mission or plan or, or adventure. You think about like the grand scope of everything you've seen in media and movies, all the tropes of things that people always do in, in movies that you've never done, even if they're very simple. At its most basic, just like every activity, like go snowboarding once, go camping once, catch a fish, win a game of pool, win a game of ping pong, whatever. Two occupations, like I mentioned, two travel checklists, like seeing all the, the wonders of the world, two more obtuse ones, I guess, like, I don't know, paint a fence, walk down a railroad track. These are not great examples. I haven't thought about this in a while, but I think if one starts thinking about it in this way and writing it down, making a kind of brainstorm, the ideas will start to flow and then you have things to do. And I feel like that will naturally lead into a bigger thing or like broader adventure. Fitting into one of my favorite things about Hunter x Hunter in the way that I think about the show, life really can be adventure. There's so many things to do. There are so many mini challenges to be had, even if it's not like on the scope of saving the world or finding Jing or what have you. Recently, I saw this thing that was a very interesting idea. It's like the rejection challenge or something like that, or a hundred days of rejection, where the idea is to do really embarrassing things. There's a checklist of embarrassing things for a hundred days, I believe it is, to kind of train you out of fear and to the point where you realize, generally speaking, people are more amenable than you think, and there's a lot less social risk than you think, and that by putting yourself in uncomfortable situations repeatedly, you become made of steel and, and fortified and things start to seem lower stakes, which allows you to do bigger and bigger, bolder things, which I've tasted in my own way, though. <laughs> Reading the rejection challenge gives me heart palpitations. Anyway, this is only tangentially related, but I feel like Gon has that excellent spirit of adventure and has a really great way of breaking things down into these little micro narrative takeaways that, that fuel him on for the future.